Hello and welcome to this NNL update video. I'm Alex Cunningham. It's hard to believe that after six long months, it's finally time for season six of the National Ninja League. We'll be introducing the first few competitions of the new season in a moment. First and foremost, this is a reminder to fill out your coaching certification. The background check can take a few weeks, so it's urgent that you get this done as soon as possible so that you're certified by the time of your athlete's first competition. Next up, here's some more information about the 2021 Regional and World Championships. Many of you have been asking if you can compete in multiple regional championships, and the answer is yes. Here's how it works. When you compete in an NNL or RNL competition, you'll qualify for that league's regional championship for the region which the facility is in. So, for instance, if you qualify at TA Fitness, you'll qualify for the New England region. As always, qualifying spots will bump down to three available qualifiers, but only for that region. So if you've already qualified in New England, you would then be able to claim one of three qualifying spots in the Southeast region if you qualify at level up. Of course, that'll only be the top two in the elite divisions. Regionals will be a one-stage course competition, just like a traditional qualifying event, and the top three, or top two in the elites, will move on to the World Championship. And speaking of which, in addition to the top finishers at the regional championships, we'll also be inviting the top three in the national standings from each region to the world championship. These points will be determined on a national level, so feel free to participate in multiple regions while exercising your own judgment on safety. The region you can qualify in for the top three in points will be determined by your place of residence according to your NNL waiver. And of course, this will only be top two for the elite divisions. We'd also like to reiterate that this event will only be held if it is safe to do so. If there are still travel restrictions prohibiting certain parts of the country from attending, we will be postponing the event until everyone from around the country can attend. Dates and locations of the regional and world championships are still to be determined, so stay tuned to our social media feeds. We apologize for the delay in the launch of our pro tournament, but we're putting the finishing touches on the event and expect it to launch within the next month or two. We'd also like to explain who will qualify for this event. Seven of the eight spots for both the men and women will be determined by the top two at the 2020 World Championship, top two in the Season 5 National Standings, top two in the Season 5 Power Rankings, and the winner of the Strongest Ninja at the World Championship. If you're one of these people, we'll be sending you an invitation in the next few weeks. As for the 8th spot, it will be decided with a play-in tournament, and the entrance to that will be decided by you! That's right, we'll be putting it up to a vote with many of the top elite ninjas eligible, and yes, that's 15 and up for this play-in tournament. The vote will occur within the next few weeks, and we'll post another announcement once voting is open. The first two competitions of the season will be held at Iron City Ninja in Pittsburgh, PA, and Austin Ninjas in Cedar Park, Texas. Let's send it over to those two facilities to introduce themselves. Hello, National Ninja League Universe. I'm Steve Leppo, owner of Iron City Ninja, and we are super excited to have the first Season 6 competition. On top of that, we're going to be the first gym in history to have the elite division competition format and one of the first ones to have the youth skills competition. But before we go over anything else, a few housekeeping items that we have. Number one, because of COVID policies, we're asking all athletes, spectators, and my staff to wear masks during the competition when you're inside. We are gonna have outside seating. We're gonna have six feet blocks. However, be cognizant of each other. If you're outside really close to each other, still wear the masks. Um, number two, anybody who's running the course can remove their mask. So you don't have to run the course with your mask on. I think that's pretty appropriate. And then number three, we'll be dropping our rules walkthrough on our Facebook event page and other resources. That way you're prepared before you get here to, with any kind of questions. And uh, it hopefully expedites the whole walkthrough and everything else that we have. And uh, lastly, Let's get ready, guys. Season six, get ready to send it. Hi, 
Austin Ninjas is so excited to host the first NNL qualifier of the South Central region. We've got a great course planned out. We've got youth competition through adults on Saturday, September 5th. And then we've got the first ever elite competition for the South Central region on Sunday, September 6th. We can't wait to see you there. These competitions are going to be epic and you can catch all of the action live and for free on our Facebook page. The heat will be turned up the following week with two competitions at Dexterity Depot in Central PA and Vitality Obstacle Fitness in Massachusetts. Be sure to check out our brand new schedule page for competitions in your area. That's all for this update. We wish you all a safe and fun Season 6, and we'll see you next time in another NNL Update video.